playing Final Fantasy XIV. I'm about to be playing that PSO New Genesis in a couple days. And then I'm also going to be playing Guilty Gear Strive because it's also got the same beta test weekend. Like, what the f- Man, it's going to be a busy couple of days coming up. I'm telling you. So it's going to be Leona. Most likely it's going to be Leona, guys. And so I'm looking for new things. Not necessarily the return of old things. I kind of want to see how they make her look fresh in this game because so far every character that has been returning from previous games like or especially 14 um they've had something that's made them seem more interesting than in the, the previous game so i'm interested to see how they do that for leona because leona's largely been the same character throughout the entirety of all her kof appearances they've changed the way some of her moves work for the better um but in the doing so they also made her a little more st- streamlined so that was one thing I was hoping they would bring back, the boomerang. But I want it to be fast. I don't want it to be that back roll, reach into the hair, throw it out. Dude, that shit's useless, man. Like, about Aerie Bomb? Bomb? I think this character specifically really needs it. Yeah, I was um, saying, like, she's been kind of the same for a while. Yeah, because her 13 to 14 is like the same character. There she is. All right, let's do let's it, baby. Do it. Let me get that up real quick for you fellas. All right, and uh, to the surprise of no one, it is Leona Heidern who joins the KO15 squad next. Let's have a look. Oh, what the heck? Oh. Okay, okay. Playing the smell of gunpowder or the 13th song. Looking kind of the same right, right now. The usual yeah. normals. There's that, Using that the counter. mechanic again, oh. yeah. All right. Air V slasher. Is that the super? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's different. Whoa, that's what? <laughs> okay, that's a super, yeah. There's your red hair. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, I like what we saw. Surprised that they did the air ring bomb uh, augmentation. That was not the move I thought they would go with to uh, to spice things up. I mean, overall, I mean, she looks interesting, like more interesting than she did in 14 for sure. Definitely. Like, yeah, that's these huge. Are, these are the types of augmentations that we needed to get excited about another version. Oh, nice juggle there. I feel like we get the same flavor with Leona time and time again, and you just needed a change up like a lot of the other characters have gotten so far. So, I mean, I'm excited. I mean, you know, Leona's a classic character in the KOF universe. In my opinion, looks better than the launch trailer, not the launch trailer, but the initial trailer that oh, they came out Oh, you mean the, the, free, the first preview? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like she looks smoothed good. out a little bit. Yeah, because it was pretty brief in the instances that we did hmm. see her there, but uh, I mean, we can go back and compare the two, obviously, later, but mm -hmm. I think she looks pretty good here. Yeah, definitely looks different than what I remember seeing from this game, and that shot especially. Her effects look pretty cool, too. I'm really loving the uh, motion blurs. That's something else that I was going to make a note of is like, yeah, her effects actually look different. Yeah, no, they, they definitely did what they had to do with this character. That part especially, like the last slash cross-up, they didn't get to see that overhead or the instant overhead. No, I guess we didn't, and that's, I mean, that's all right. You know, we're not mm -hmm. going to ding them too much for that. I'm pretty sure she still has it. I, I would be interested to know, though, if it knocks down or not, because a lot of other uh, character trailers that we've seen, we've seen a lot of classic normals and classic specials that now perform differently, mm -hmm. and I think that that would be huge if that move could just be done raw and not knock down now, and you could cancel, like, cancel stuff from it. That would change a lot of her offensive options. I knew Leona, I knew her trailer was going to be all about, let's make this character look super functional, you know? Yeah. And I think they did that. She looks she looks like what I, I think would be the next graduation of this character from 14. How are they going to make her look more interesting? Well, let's just, you know, add a little bit of spice to some of her moves that, you know, are already familiar, you know? Yeah, I think the common theme here is... Uh, 
just enough of a difference to make the characters interesting. Um, and I think, I think the only character to me that really doesn't fit this mold, uh, in comparison, obviously to fourteen, right, is maybe last week's reveal trailer of Robert that looked a little square. He looked pretty basic to what we've already seen before. Right. I mean, we even found out that there were things that he didn't there that he could always do in fourteen, but it was just not conducive to the system, right? So I was like, man, yeah. how basic is this guy that his cool stuff wasn't was always around. He just wasn't cool enough to use it. It just wasn't optimized enough or the utility wasn't worth it. You know? Right, right. So it's cool to see that she can do stuff like that where she can like kind of set you up with that explosion that's you know oh, gonna, that's sick that's actually really sick that's that's what i mean that's <laughs> opening her up a lot yeah. now maybe in this case it's okay that she's super simplistic because they're telling us like this earring bomb is about to just like change Open the whole up. way she does combos yeah uh yeah i could see that being pretty sick. i think it's a little undersold in this trailer but yeah i'm really interested to see more about her i feel like this really i wouldn't say tip of the iceberg it just shows you at base level what she may be able to do uh not only just combo wise but in utility in the neutral game i really wanted to see if they could block the explosion after they have been hit by the uh the sticky bomb basically mm -hmm. because if they can't oh man her her offense is about to be so unfair. i mean i imagine she can combo into that and then just start going for high lows and it really doesn't matter if you block her, because she's like you're gonna get opened up regardless. I don't, I don't know how it worked in the previous games. People are saying that it's in older games. I guess she's now opened up completely because of this earring bomb, and who knows what else? I mean, honestly, who really knows what else? Because I don't think that this necessarily, these trailers are necessarily indicative of what the characters have to offer 100. percent You know, mm -hmm. I think there's always a little bit more behind the curtain, whether it be through individual exploration or if they just didn't show everything and that's happened so far that's happened before in these trailers when they just didn't show something um, overhead though i mean they had they had uh shown off some of the normals in the game in the beginning of the trailer and they don't show the overhead right yeah and i'm, like, I'm not hey. gonna say that we should be worried about that but it, it's not it's not something i would be worried about like yeah i don't see a reason to remove it basically you know like that would definitely be a Oh, well. That's like down forward C not yeah. being available for Terry. It, again, it's like what you said earlier. It would be them going out of their way to screw her, to nerf yeah, her. Yeah. But yeah, we got to ruin this archetype. So let's take away like literally one of her most useful tools and give her something that may or may not even be useful outside of specific situations. Yeah, I expect down D to be a good... Uh, Anti-air still. Yeah, that's definitely important. And also, great to see that she can do these EXs outside of max mode as well, obviously. I'm um, going to be interesting to see how what she can get done with that. You know, ever since last week, I've been kind of like racking my brain about how to contextualize this game. Like, and it's very difficult, especially since they just showed off the cd counter mm -hmm. uh element of the game to contextualize the stand cd counter situation to like the way these characters play mm -hmm. um yeah man i mean i don't know this game could be played a number of ways that we just i just need them to drop that meter gauge baby we, yeah and I, 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 I honestly bro like i'm in this point i'm at the point where people are making comparisons to older games that had similar systems to that, right? And I'm like, we were, last week we were wondering how much meter would this cost us if we used it? And at this point I'm like, dude, what if it's not gonna cost us anything? What if that option doesn't cost anything? What if that's just like, you know, like 12, or they just, you just do it? Yeah, but do you understand how that works in 12? I don't. So that's Neither why do I don't, so I I don't really wanna say that, that it should. I don't wanna say <laughs> how, what it do, what it, that it should. But yeah. I, I, I do see a window where they're like, yeah, what if it just doesn't cost anything? Because the opponent can just harass you with an onslaught of EX moves and just high damage supers canceled into one, one another if you fail to block something. Having an option to that's not safe, that is a, that is a big risk, but if it connects, it not only ends that momentum, but it gives you all the momentum back and some damage. Well... For See, free. what you're bringing up is exactly my point. 
we don't know. Yeah. We don't know. And we could continue to talk about it and, you know, bring up this is a possibility. Is it meter? Is it not meter? Who knows? We don't know till we get that HUD with the gauges on it. And uh, they show us really how, how much do, everything's going to cost us. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, that, that's what I'm saying. I think we're, again, we are at the point where it, it, it would be nice to have uh, an explanation of what's going on here. You know? I don't think that I mean I'm not I'm not sick of these trailers. I'm enjoying these trailers, but I'm like I would really and I know a lot of people agree would like to know what we're dealing with here because this is not just you know it's not and it's not possible to infer a lot of that from this. A lot of these moves are rec- recognizable. That's good, but yeah. We don't know what the nitty-gritty is. And it's hard to again fathom how useful these moves will be in a yeah. system that we can't understand we just want to theory craft better is all yeah that's it that's all we want a friend of ours a dc kane 317 actually uh he made a post on twitter talking about the likeliness of clark and ralph being on a team trailer after her solo reveal leonis and i would have to agree i feel like that makes sense if that were to be the next reveal or at least down the line that it would be a team reveal i mean considering how those guys are basically just joined at the hip just like real and robert are historically mm-hmm. um yeah i definitely see that being another team or duo reveal trailer um of course that is assuming that they're even on the same team because remember, yeah, that's the other point that I wanted to bring up as well. Yeah, there's a possibility that while Leona is obviously not on the women's team, uh-huh. um, there's no guarantee she's on the Akari team either because Hydern was in 14, and as we've seen, a lot of characters from 14 are returning in 15, which means Hydern could also return and be with Ralph and Clark. Well, you know, companies don't like to waste assets, so sure. That always makes it a possibility. And, and don't forget about Whip. Whip is also on the Akari squad technically and, you know, could easily team up with Leona and possibly a new character. I'll just give my last thoughts and just say, I like where this game's going, man. Leona reveal, uh, a, a solid reveal. Um, nothing to lose my mind over, but, you know, I'm very interested in where the next reveal of the characters go and how they change or improve on the aesthetics and the move sets. And if the if we continue on doing that with these characters, I mean, I'm excited. You know, every every week I think I my my expectations have always been low. Every <laughs> single week. I'm like, all right, they're going to blow it this week. This week's going to be trash. I mean, I was dreading the release of the Andy trailer. Oh Thank God. God that went well. <laughs> uh even the real and Robert reveal, I thought was going to be a snooze fest. And I was like, oh, Dude, my God, here we like, go. How did they make those guys so cool? Like, it's been years. I don't know. But i have they proved me wrong more than once. So I'm willing to stay on board for this train and see where it goes. And I'm pretty excited. Like I said, Leona looks good. I like what they did with the character. And I can't wait to see what they do with the other ones that they reveal. I'm going to echo your statements for the most part. I'm really looking forward to next week. Uh, not that I think that this is like something to gloss over. Like I think we're going to be doing a lot of uh, theory crafting with Leona, but it's most likely going to be on Twitter. People are going to be waxing hype over that uh, earring bomb stuff. But I, I think this is a solid you know, reveal. We already saw her, so we already knew she was coming. So a lot of the sting of the surprise was already taken away anyway. Um, I think she was better than we saw her the first than when we saw her the first time. Um, I think she's got just enough new stuff to make her seem kind of fresh and approachable for people who have been playing KOF for a long time but maybe didn't want to give her a shot. And for people who are probably just jumping into this, they're probably looking at this saying, like, hey, she looks really simple and kind of cool with that delayed explosion stuff, and she's got a link. Like, maybe this will work, you know? Yeah, wait till they find out she's got instant overhead shenanigans. Oh, yeah. A lot of people <laughs> really be in. Well, I was going to say, like, a lot of people who jump into KOF, they jump on Leona because she's just like, oh, who are you going to? She's a charge character, you know? How hard can she be? And she's not. So they just spiced her up a little bit. Now it makes her really worth your while. So good job to SNK for just, you know, basically doing what we asked him to do before the trailer drops, you know? Just make a character who had been. Uh, fairly for utilitarian use only seem a little more interesting, and they managed to do that, so kudos.
I'll say one more thing. Um, make us work a little harder in those character portraits. Because this one was a, as dead of a giveaway as possible. <laughs> I don't know, man. Some guys were like, oh, I think it's Kasumi. Like, that would have been sick. I would have been down for that, but I wasn't convinced. I mean, it's not it's not too late for her to appear, but it definitely wasn't Kasumi. 